Welcome to our video in Key Clock tutorial. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about connecting database in development mode for Key Clock presented by Mahmoud Niaz from IT Pro Guide. So we're going to delve into the step by step process of connecting Key Clock and we're going to use PostgreSQL database for the Key Clock. In the previous video, we explored the settings how to set up SSL certificate in key clock and this video we are going to enhance our setup by integrating a database within the same virtual machine it is not essential to connect a database in development mode this is very clear you can use the default database but doing so can provide some more hands-on experience and this is going to prepare us for more complex configurations so now you might wonder how our demos functioned without explicitly connecting to a database. Indeed, Keyclock defaults use uh, H2 uh, database, a compact, a very efficient solution for development purpose. So to understand the current setup, you can easily verify this by running uh, the show config command. So if we run this command, this will display us what are the configurations that our running key clock gonna use. So let's run the show config command. And it lists out the current configuration that it used. You can see that uh, the DB is uh, picked up from the uh, key clock configuration file. So if we look at the configuration file, which is in the inside the key clock, you will see a folder named uh, conf and inside the conf you can see key clock dot conf file we're going to print that file here in this terminal so that we can have a look so you can see all the lines are hashed out which means none of this are configured so this is going to use the uh, key clock h2 database which is a very lightweight database perfect for the testing environment now let's discuss how to integrate a database with key clock so our first step begins by the installation of PostgreSQL database. Then within the PostgreSQL database, we have to create a dedicated database named KeyClock and establish a KeyClock user for it. So once our database is set up and ready, the next step involves configuring the KeyClock application to establish a connection with our newly prepared database. What you see here is the command required to install a PostgreSQL database in Ubuntu. So let's run it. So I'm going to run sudo apt then install PostgreSQL database. So we have completed with the installation of PostgreSQL database. Now we need to switch to the Postgre user, then access the SQL command prompt. Then we create a database, then user, then grant permission uh, for the user to the database. Let's switch the user first. Then access the SQL prompt that is using PSQL then we're gonna create a database named key clock database then give name key clock then complete with the colon then the database has created the next step is to create a key clock user then you provide a password now the create user has completed now we have to grant permission for the user key clock underscore user to the database key clock so we are done with the postgresql so it's time to exit from the Postgres. The next step is to 
run the kick lock command with the necessary command line parameter to understand which database our kick lock need to connect so i'm gonna give like a hyphen db with postgres then the username password i will also keep the https configuration it is it is fine because we are just learning so it's good to level up ourselves with multiple configuration now i copied the command and pasted here so remove the proxy edge it is not required for you then uh, other things are okay now let's run the command and make sure you given the password that you configured for the postgresql uh, database so i have started the kick log in development mode with the ssl certificate connected and also the database connected so if you are wrong in some configuration then you will have some kind of notification here in this logs printed on the screen so this will help you to identify uh, what is wrong in the configuration So I'm going to access the key clock again and this time you can see it is saying that the admin passwords are not set. Why? Because before we were using the H2 database, the default database that comes with the key clock. As we connected to the PostgreSQL database, we need to create the admin password again because the database is different so it cannot identify. So I'm going to create again the admin username and password. Yeah, so the user created successfully. And then I can log in also with the admin and admin. So I'm done with uh, connecting the database and SSL certificate. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.